What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hey, I got a surprise for you guys, all right? It's a little some some kind of different, you know, I got to get into like the different platform of vehicles and stuff and I just got to change it up. And ever since I drifted my buddy's Camaro, kind of wanted a rear wheel drive car. So, don't judge me on what I got and I'm also going to need a lot of help from you guys. Let me know in the comments below where is the best place that I can look up information on this car and just help me out if you guys like know anybody to have it or if you guys yourself have um, this kind of car, stuff like that. Um, I keep on saying this kind of car because I don't want to tell you guys yet. I want to show you guys like all of the other projects that my buddy has which is freaking sick. Um, but yeah, I... I hope you guys are excited as I am because uh, I'm pretty excited. This car is in like very good condition and I'm getting it for a steal, honestly. Like this thing is, it's amazing. Like, uh, I'll show you guys, just give me a sec, hold on, hold on, hold on. This thing is pretty sick. He said he's only running about six pounds of boost right now because of the fact that his clutch is slipping. So he has a change of clutch and that he'll be running around like 12, maybe a little bit more. but. He did two-step it at work one time, and I was like, yo, that thing sounds like it has balls. Check this out. This thing's pretty sick. It looks clean as hell, honestly. Kind of like Miatas. Like, if Miatas are built well, and like built right, they look amazing, honestly. Like, I love this thing. Kind of reminds me of uh, my boy Brandon's old Miata that I used to drive all the time when the Evo was down because the Evo was so unreliable but this Miata was like his Miata was fun as hell but this kind of brings back memories <laughs> alright besides that we got my buddy's truck he's putting a small block in it I don't know much details about this but things thing looks pretty clean in good condition and then we got my boy's E46 he's doing a clutch on this the guy has so many damn projects I swear but he's doing a clutch on this and I guess that's gonna be like his drift car or something I mean then again all these cars he's selling as well besides the Miata because the Miata's not for sale but uh, he's selling this one for a, around four grand I believe so as you guys can tell it's gonna have a new clutch in it <laughs> but uh, this this right here is what I wish I would have bought but my buddy told me that he already sold it to one of his friends um, it's actually a Mustang 5.0 uh, engine in it, and uh, from the sound of it, this thing rips. It was going to be his drift car, but he sold it to one of his buddies because uh, he was having a baby, so this thing's pretty sick, honestly. One thing I love about these cars is that the hood opens the other way, which is awesome. <laughs> but the car that I'm getting tonight is... Boom. Yes, my guys, I am joining the Rotary Squad. I never experienced a Rotary before. I, I don't know what to like expect besides all the horror and nightmares that uh, people have been telling me about how the engine only lasts like two years and how you're gonna always gonna be rebuilding it and this and that. But when it's running, it's running like amazing. So hopefully it's not that expensive to rebuild rotaries <laughs> but um this thing is is beautiful check it out yeah it has its little wear and tear but for the most part this thing is clean just put new spark plugs new wires um he changed the belts he put a new battery in it uh he did a couple other things on it honestly and then we got the wheels, the original wheels that came with the car. Thing is sick. All the interior pieces, the two seats. I never noticed how heavy these doors were, honestly, until I opened this thing. And I was like, holy crap. Oh my God. Let me see if this works. Nope, it does not work. Oh, that was actually the sunroof. My bad. Nope, the light don't work. But 
Yeah, guys. Let me, actually, let me see. Here you guys go. 148,000 miles. I guess it was automatic. I'm not sure. But it's not. It's a stick shift. <laughs> I actually got to ask him about that. I didn't know that it was that that had that. I'm not sure if all of them come like that or if, you know, this one was converted or not. But this thing is pretty clean. Besides the shift knob and the steering wheel, like this thing is mint inside. I love these cars, man. Like just the, like the nostalgia is amazing. There's no crack on the damn dash or anything that I've noticed. Like this thing is awesome. I really can't wait to to dig into this project. Like oh my god. So right now we're probably gonna we're, we're gonna take off the airbox and change the map sensor. He said uh, it was running kind of rough uh, on the top end because of um, he believes it's the map sensor. So we're gonna change that and uh, hopefully oh it's right there. Right here. So hopefully that fixes the issue. But what what have you done to the car ever since you got it? Um, all four spark plugs, all new wires, new oil, new oil filter, all new belts, new battery, flood the clutch with new fluid, and um, yeah, just started it up and she's been running pretty good and cutting out at high idle, so. <laughs> what what kind of uh, aftermarket parts does that have? Um, it's got a header and then a full exhaust back, and other than that, it's bone stock, so. <laughs> nice clean chassis to start with. Exactly. Yeah, I have no idea how excited I am. Like, I kind of always wanted a rear-wheel drive car, but like, uh, it's like, if the opportunity presented itself, then I'd be like, all right, let's go, let's do it. So the opportunity presented itself, and I was like, yo, on a mission to get this money to get this car. Like, and it has pop-up headlights. This is the first car that I'm gonna own with pop-up headlights. This is crazy. But, uh, <laughs> I'm hella excited, like this is, this is awesome. So, just took the car on the first drive. Um, it has a little bit of a misfire, but 2,800 bucks, you know, I can't complain about this, honestly. Like, this thing is, it's a good car. Like, it drives awesome. Um, the tires have flat spots, but it drives straight. And uh, I can't really complain about anything besides like the things that I expect for a, you know, like 27 year old car, maybe even older, but it's a 91. So I can't math right now. Pretty sick, pretty sick. I love it, but uh, I'll show you guys more when uh, there's actual daylight and when I do pick it up uh, tomorrow, I'm probably gonna leave it here today because uh, I don't have another person to like take it home with me and um, I might have a tag obviously but I'm not gonna risk that uh, I'll probably get a bill of sale from him and then put insurance on it tomorrow come pick it up and we should be good so we'll see um, how everything goes and obviously I'll uh, bring you guys along so what was the, the previous owner's story. So an older lady bought the car brand new. Yeah. Dailyed it for like 10 years. Kind and of ballsy, dailying a rotary, right? Yeah. <laughs> so she would daily it and she would take it to this uh, mechanic over in, she was in like Winter Park. Yeah. So over in that area. And then um, finally she decided to just sell it one day. So like the mechanic bought it. He sold it to a chef over in like Winter Park. That guy somehow like lost his license, so it was just sitting in his yard. <laughs> and my buddy would pass his like yard and knew him because he needed his restaurant every once in a while. Yeah. So he bought the car from him, took it over to his house, got it running and stuff. His buddy came over, saw the car, was like, "What's up with it?" And buddy was like, "Oh, I paid a thousand bucks for it." And he goes, hold on. So he ran to the bank, grabbed a thousand bucks, gave it to him, and bought it off of him. Oh my God. And then uh, he was keeping it like his mom's place for a bit. Uh, his mom like moved, cause he's like a trucker. Yeah. And um, so he, he was keeping it at my buddy's place. 
then my buddy was keeping it at his shop and then finally it had just been sitting for a while and um, I think it had been sitting like three four years and uh, I asked him like hey what's up with it and uh, his, his buddy that like owned it was like in a tough spot and needed some cash so I was like I'll give you the cash I'll buy it off of you so I bought it off of him Got it running again, and now, uh, now it's yours. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, this thing's been a bore, no. though. But yeah, she, um, I mean, he had drained the gas tank and everything when it was sitting, so yeah. he kept up with it. He just sat outside, so it was real dirty, and that's why the paint's a little. That's fine, I don't care yeah. about the paint. I just care about the fucking edge of it. Why it's <laughs> misfiring right now. <laughs> yeah, we'll get that figured out. We'll get your AC charged up, too. You look nice and cool. Sark 7 has been through so many owners. It is what it is for a 91. <laughs> uh, that's the video for today, guys. Uh, it was very unexpected, last minute kind of deal. But, hey, it all worked out. And uh, I'm happy. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was a little shorter than usual. But, hey, I just want to throw it out there so that you guys could go through this journey. And so I could have it, you know, for my personal like. You know, look back, kind of reminisce type deal. So, I hope you guys enjoy, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Deuces. One love. <laughs>